Hi dear students, how are you all? It's me, Teacher Rajati again. Okay, today we're going to learn electricity. This is the unit 7 in the DLP Science Year 2. It's quite an interesting topic. Okay, let's we start the class. Are you ready? That's good. Okay, students. Do you know what is the meaning of the electricity? Okay, let's we look at it. What is electricity? Electricity, a form of energy made up of changes that can produce light, heat or motion. Yes, that's true. Okay, can you understand what is the mean by the light, heat or motion? Yeah, that's right. So the light means when you switch on, you can see the bulbs will light up. And then if you leave it for a long time, the bulb will getting heat. That means hot a bit. And then motion, it cannot move actually. But you can see that that's one, uh, something like the television. You can see the uh visual yeah you can see the visual yeah that is the meaning of the motion okay so this is the meaning of the electricity okay the next one okay one more thing students make sure you always must be very aware of the electricity why do you know why because some of the kids likes to go and play with the electricity. They don't know whether the electric is on or not. That is the current is a flow or not. Because if not, you will get like this also. Getting the electric shock. So please be aware when the lightning time, thunder and the heavy raining time, please don't play with the electricity because the current will always flow very speed yes so make sure you must be alert and be safe always okay now okay students do you know what are the electric components in an electric circuit okay let's we look at it okay there are main four component in a one electric circuit as you look at it what are the components and the functions of the component okay this is the simple electric circuit ah uh, you can see over here so this is the switch this is the bulb this is the connecting wire and this is the battery or you can name also dry cell okay do you know what are the functions of these uh, components, electrical components in an electric circuit? Okay, let's we go more deeply. Okay. Ah, this is the one say that. Hi, I am a dry cell. My function is to supply electrical and energy. If there's no dry cell, sure, there's no, the bulb we're going to light up because the dry cell will be going to produce the electrical energy, giving the energy to the whole circuit. Okay, so that's why the dry cell very very important. If there's no dry cell, without the dry cell, you can't do anything with that. Okay, the second one is that, yes, this one, hello, I am a bulb. My function is to produce light. Yes, once the dry cell give the energy, so it's the current will be moved. Okay, flow and the bulb will be lights up. Yeah, that is the thing. So the bulb will produce light. When in the dark area, when you switch on the light, sure, the whole area become bright. Okay. And the next one is, hello, I am a switch. My function is to complete and break an electrical circuit. That's right. That means without the switch that's also no the bulb we going to be lights up and also there's no work for the dry cell make sure that is has the switch okay because you can open and the close the switch okay so when you close the switch in the circuit that means it's not off 
is actually when you close that mean the current will be flow through the switch when you open it will be blocked really there's no current start yeah that's why so you can see you no know, one second later teacher will be show more deeply understand that's good okay this is the part number four that is hello i am a connecting wire my function is to connect each electrical components into a complete circuit yes that's right so the wire at home also you can see all the light will be connecting with the connecting wires because the connecting wires is help the current to flow through it okay so this is the connecting wire okay guys okay i hope that you can understand the main four parts of the electrical components in a electric circuit okay number one is the dry cell number two is the bulb number three is the connecting wire and the number four is the switch is there any questions okay that's nice i hope that they have a new questions from you all so make sure the students must understand what are the main electrical components in one electrical circuit and also it's a function okay did you try to okay i want to recall back that okay number one is the dry cell dry cell is to provide energy yes it gives energy number 2 is the bulb to produce light number 3 is a switch switch is to connect or break the electric circuit and the number 4 is that connecting wire connecting wire is to connect each electrical components in an electric circuit that is the thing okay guys okay let's we go to the next that is electrical circuits okay ah that's the thing wow is looks nice sure you asked teacher what is that mm what is that teacher the negative negative the blue color something the dash 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 is uh, moving there okay that's very simple my dears okay in the one dry cell you know that they have a two poles that is the positive and also negative so that means okay so flow of electrons from the negative to positive is called current that means the flow can you see this flow the dash that is not dash is actually electrons ah that is the electrons from the battery so that is we call current okay current and then the electrons flow from dry cell which gives energy to bulb to produce light when they have the electrons moving through the connecting wire then you can see the bulb will be lights up that's a thing so this is an electric circuit this is a complete electric circuit make sure must have battery must have the connecting wire which have to connect the each of the electrical components bulb and is a switch okay when you close then the electron moving through it when you open the switch there's no electrons okay okay that's a thing so that is the one flow of the electron that is means current yes okay i hope you can understand is there any question students okay that's good that's good i hope you can understand okay the next okay this is we call incomplete circuit incomplete circuit means suddenly you can see the wire is not connecting completely or properly that is we call incomplete circuit or any of the component missing in the circuit so what happened to the bulb is it the bulb will lights up what's your answer yes or no 
Sure, no, because there's no electron where we can move through the connecting wire. So that's a new, yeah, that's a new current we flow under the produce line. The bulb is doesn't light up. That's a thing. Okay, the next one. This is the completing the circuit. Completing the circuit means you can see the connecting wire is connected properly. That means, okay, now is that the bulb is lights up or not lights up? This means yes or no? Yes, because this is a complete circuit. Very good. Give a big hand for yourself. That's good. Okay, the next. As we go to next. Okay, now, yeah, some of the students ask teacher, teacher, we also have interest want to building an electric circuit. Yes, make sure before building an electric circuit, make sure the students must have a battery cell, sorry, dry cell, bulb, connecting wire, and, and switch. So make sure they must have this a four main parts. Even have a no switch also can, no problem. Okay, so make sure must have the connecting wire because the connecting wire is connected each electrical components each other properly. That means that is will be helps to flow the current through it. Okay, okay, let me see step by step. Step one. Now, what are they doing in the picture? Okay, let's look at the picture properly. That's right. Okay, step one is that fasten the bulb onto a bulb holder. Yeah, that's right. Okay, fasten means you have to twist it, the bulb onto a bulb holder properly. You cannot miss any of the... Uh, make sure it must be properly, not improperly. Then to you properly, then only you can see the bulb will write up. Okay, this is the step one. Okay, let's Step two is install the dry cell in a dry cell holder. Yeah, there are the two poles as what teacher mentioned. That is the positive and also negative. So you must see the positive and negative poles and you must install the dry cell properly in a dry cell holder. Okay, that is step two. Step three. Connecting wire. Okay. Step three. Complete the circuit by connecting all components with the connecting wires. Yes, you can see this is the switch. This is the connecting wire. This is the dry cell. This is the bulb. And this back again to the switch. Ah, make sure you must be connect properly all the components with the connecting wire. Okay, that's step three. And the next is step four. Yeah, this is the one. Maybe some of them ask that closed circuit, open circuit. Very simple. Very simple. Teachers say that, as what teacher mentioned, okay, the electrons flow. That means the current flow through the connecting wire. So make sure you must connect all the components properly. So step four, Close the switch and observe the bulb. That means it's a not switch off. It's a not switch off, students. You have the wrong prediction. No switch off. It actually means close the switch. That means the electric component is quite different. That is, this is the switch. Okay, this is the switch. When you close, okay, and this is the close meaning. You can see the current will be flow and you can see the bulb will be lights up. That's the thing. Uh, this is the meaning of close circuit. So when you close the switch, so you can see the current will flow through the connecting wire and the bulb will light up. That's the thing. Okay, and the next. Okay, step five. Huh? Okay, step five, you open the switch and observe the bulb. Okay, step five, open the switch and observe the bulb. That means now you open. Now you open. Ah, what happened to the bulb? What you can observe? The bulb will not 
dozen lights ah yes that's the thing when you open the switch that means the current will be stuck here stuck here is cannot flow it cannot flow through the connecting wire because the switch is open ready okay so when you close the current can flow through the connecting wire and the bulb will light up when you open the switch the current will not flow through the connecting wire and the bulb doesn't light up this is the difference between the open circuit and the closed circuit okay that's good i hope that you all can understand what do you mean by open circuit and the closed circuit so this is the steps are you you have to cross through to building an electrical circuit okay so is there any questions okay make sure you can understand the steps each one by one properly okay that's good okay so shall we go to the next okay that's good okay this is the one why doesn't the bulb light up okay i want to ask the students is there have any answers from you all why doesn't the bulb light up mm, teacher i cannot make my bulb in the circuit cannot light up i don't know what's the problem maybe the teacher said you please check your circuit properly maybe they have some problems on it or the electrical components okay maybe the student say mm, i don't know teacher i still cannot find out what's the problem okay no worries okay is there any questions from your own students okay that's good some of you can answer some of you still thinking on that what is the problem will be going to arise makes the bulb not lights up okay never mind let's we we'll look at it okay okay this is the number one that is maybe the bulb is damaged yes cannot be used anymore maybe the student used the damaged bulb in the electrical circuit so that's why the bulb doesn't light up ah that's the thing okay and the second one is the switch in the circuit is open open yeah as what teacher mentioned when you open the switch the current doesn't flow through it ah doesn't flow through it the current will be stuck there ah stuck under the switch open there cannot cannot uh, when you close the switch when on the, the you can see the flow wow very smoothly the current the flow of the current very smooth and you can see the bulb will be light ah even you say that teacher i close the switch ready but the bulb still not lights up maybe ah teacher say that maybe the dry cell which lack of energy you have to change your dry cell maybe the battery why lost energy yeah lost energy that's why no more energy in the battery so because the battery is a provide energy to the world circuit okay that's the thing so these are the three main things can cause the bulb doesn't light up okay students is there any questions from you all is there anything you want to ask teacher okay i hope that you all can understand very well the today lesson okay so please go through again and watch again my video to know more about the electricity part 1 electricity yes so i hope you all can understand and this made my video me useful to you everyone That's all for now from me on. Thank you very much. Okay students, bye bye.